Ready? All right, now we're gonna talk about the IPDE process. So as I'm driving, the I stands for identify. So as I'm driving down this road, I've identified a couple things. The, the biggest thing to me is this side street. So I've identified that. Now you wanna predict things that might happen based off that side street. Pedestrian might come out of there or a bicyclist. Um, a car might be coming out of there. Now we have the right of way, however, they have a stop sign, but you're still observant and still want to be aware if anyone does come. So as I'm approaching, I've identified that. I predicted some of the things that might happen. Now you want to decide what you're going to do based off of those predictions. As I'm approaching, um, identified, I predict there might be cars. There's nobody coming, so I'm going to decide to continue to go, and I'm going to execute that by continuing to accelerate through that intersection. Now as I'm approaching, I've identified another side street. I'm making those same predictions. I'm watching for maybe a bicyclist, another vehicle. They have a stop sign. Once I see it's clear, I'm, gonna, I'm deciding to continue to drive. And I'm executing that by steering and accelerating, continuing my, my speed. I've identified an intersection. It's a four-way stop. I know that because I can see four stop signs. I gradually slow down. I still look left, right, and left again. Here, you've identified that. You predict there might be traffic coming. From there, you need to decide who's got the right of way. And then once you've decided all of that, you can execute that. And since we are the first ones here, we are going to execute it by making our right turn. And right away, once I make this turn, I've identified a slow children at play sign. I've identified a speed limit sign. Um, immediately after that, I see a stop sign, a T intersection and a parked car. So I've identified a lot of things. We know there might be kids around, so I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious. I know my speed limit's 25, and then I also see that I have a stop sign up there. So I've identified all those things. Now I need to predict, especially what might happen at this intersection. There's a parked car, so I've identified that. I wanna predict a couple things. They might pull away, somebody might step out of the car. So you have to be aware of those things. So as I, I approach that, I'm going to decide to go slowly and stay a little bit wider, at least the door's length away in case they open up that door. And I'm just gonna continue to execute that by driving slowly and steer myself around the vehicle. Immediately after the parked car, I have a stop sign. I've identified that. I've identified the stop sign. So I'm going to predict that cars could come from my left or my right. And then I'm gonna to decide to uh, stop first because of the stop sign, but I also wanna be aware of maybe traffic coming. Since I know I have the, the, the stop sign, I'm gonna to come to my stop and I'm gonna execute that by coming to a full complete stop. And since I'm turning right, I'm gonna use my signal. Again, I'm cautious of the parked car. I come up to my stop sign. And so I've identified the stop sign. I predicted cars might come or not come. In this case, I've decided nobody's coming, so I'm gonna execute my turn. By looking in my turn, hand over hand, accelerating, three quarters out, and I did my reverse hand over hand. He's identifying, he's predicting, deciding, and executing. As I'm driving, I see a parked vehicle on my left with a driver getting in the vehicle so I'm just cautious that I've identified that and predict that maybe he might step out from behind the vehicle there he is so I'm slow and I stay a little bit closer to the curb I've executed that by just steering the vehicle to the right and using my brake to control my speed parked car just like before I'm going around it cautiously the IPD process is something you're constantly doing side streets pedestrians parked cars intersections there's dozens and dozens of things that could happen and you need to know how to decide uh, what you're going to do and how to execute those once you've predicted what might happen. So I'm going around this curve, I'm looking into my turn, so I'm looking up to the left to see what kind of traffic might be coming. In this case there's a truck, so I'm being cautious and staying in my lane. Anytime you see oncoming traffic, one thing you want to predict once you've identified that is maybe they might swerve into your lane. So you have to decide if that happens, what you're going to do, uh, which will bring you to the execution phase of steering your vehicle to avoid an accident and then possibly using your brake to also avoid the same thing. As I'm making my left turn up here, it's an uncontrolled turn. I see a car backing out of the driveway. They look like they see me. 
making my turn. And once I make this turn, I have a parked vehicle. So here, anytime you have a parked car, oncoming traffic has the right of way. The parked vehicle's on your side, so I have to go around them, but you wanna make sure there's no one coming. And it's okay that I go into the left lane slightly to avoid maybe anyone stepping out of that, that truck.